Welcome to the Weekly Homicide Report, the weekly program where we talk about all the people that needlessly died at the hands of another person. So let's take a look at this week's graph. Chicago has 273 homicides on the year, an increase of 17 from last week, and Chicago has had double-digit murder numbers every week for two months. Philadelphia has 229 homicides this year, up seven from last week. Baltimore has 158 murders this year, including seven from last week. The St. Louis area has 147 murders, up eight from last week. Milwaukee has 98, adding six this week and is getting close to that 100 mark. And D.C. sits at 92 on the year, adding five this past week. There were 14 mass shootings last week. I didn't cover many of them due to my YouTube account being suspended for a week. But we've had 267 mass shootings this year, which averages out to 1.6 per day. Six children under the age of 11 were shot and killed, and 30 between the age of 12 and 17 were murdered by gunfire. There have been 515 reported defensive use of a firearm, which is up 21 from last week. And between the years 2015 and 2019, murders committed with firearms were considerably lower than they've been since 2020. And during that time frame, defensive use of a weapon was much higher. Defensive use has been on the decline since 2017, and murders have been on a rise. So you can decide if regular people trained with guns helps keep the bad guys with guns from hurting people or not. On to the murder-suicides. Now these are just the ones that are done with a gun. So far in week 24, we're at 312 for the year, and that's an increase of 20 from last week. So that's all I have for you today, but I'll be back next week, unless my account gets suspended again, with the week 25 numbers. Until then, have a great week, and I'll catch you next week. Support this channel and pick yourself up some original crime-related apparel. Look for the link in the description.